Welcome back, this is Yama Jack. Today we've got Gunslinger Ashford Asylum Suicidal. I swear. I swear. The, 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 I must be under, misunderstanding how the, like, let it pick a match for you kind of thing works. Because it's always Ashwood Asylum. Always. Every single time. I must be misunderstanding something. I thought it was random, but... I, I don't I don't think that's possible. I don't think it's possible for it to be random because I, I think I have enough of a sample size here to firmly and definitively say that it's not random. Now, if it's literally just not random, then, uh, you know, that I haven't really discovered much, but I believe I believe it's supposed to be random, but it's definitely not. So I don't know. Maybe it isn't random and I've just been misunderstanding it. I don't know. It's always Ashford Asylum. I've, it's like every every day I'm playing Ashford Asylum. I don't mind it. It's a good map. It's an enjoyable map, but like, my god. Give me something else for once. For once, I beg of you. I don't like picking the map myself because I have um, anxiety around making decisions, so I let it pick it for me, and then it always gives me Ashford Asylum, and that's also giving me anxiety because now I have the same thing happening in every single video forever, and uh, that's a problem. Anyway, they get a lot of questions about this reticle that I have. The crosshair in the middle of the screen, this little pink dot. I have um, a mod installed, which lets me, the like mouse is weird in this for some reason, but settings, uh, if I go here, so okay, so down here is the, uh, the global preprocessor stuff. This is my settings, if you wanted the same thing. So I have, um, the dot, which is being used. So we have, uh, we have, here's the, the X hair type, right? I have it on circle and the opacity is down to zero. If we turn that up, you'll be able to see the little, like green circle around it. I don't like that. So I turn the uh, opacity down and then I have the composite X hair here which is going to give us the uh, the dot and then we have like the dot size which you can have it whatever you like um, I have it at three and then one opacity so this gives me the dot instead of having the uh, the circle or you know cross or something which is also fine but I, I just like the the circle personally and then you got all this other kind of stuff here which I don't really know what it does I just I just made sure that I have a pink dot it's my favorite color F046 F7 no that's not it F046 E7, I think. Whatever, doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, there'll be a link in the description to the mod that I'm using. You have to install like a, a post processor, like DLL thingy or whatever, and then um, install the mod so that you get the actual crosshair thing. And then uh, at that point, you'll be able to uh, go through and set it up like I have it or somewhere else. Um, but that's how you get the, the just the dot in it. If you wanted just the dot. It's really nice to have though, because um, the, uh, the built-in crosshair is like trash. You know, I don't need it, okay? I don't need it. I've, I've proven before that I don't, I don't need the, the crosshair, okay? I can, I can survive without it, but it's just so nice to have a, a nice little crosshair, you know? Very nice to have. Now, when I've when I've just switched off the crosshair, it definitely kind of mucks me up a little bit. But then I'm I'm pretty much okay after that. It's just nice to have, mostly for um like Zeds and Scrakes and stuff, and like lining up. Hey, I thought you were gonna. I don't have the. I don't like that. I don't like that. that that's, that's a scary situation there. Um, it's nice to have mostly for the scrakes and stuff to be able to head track a little bit better. Um, and then it's also nice for some of the other things. I'm not super good without it, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty okay with it. A couple of episodes without it and I'd be back to kind of prime situation there, I think. But I like having it on, so I keep it. Anyway, that's how I have it set up. There'll be a link in the description to the mod if I forget it. Uh, it's called... 
uh, crosshair overlay, I think. I think. Something like that, anyway. If you search for that, you know, Killing Floor 2 Crosshair Overlay mod, you'll probably find it. It's probably there, you know? But, uh, yeah, so I've got the settings for it and stuff. Pink is a good color, too, for, uh, for KF2, by the way. This pink color that I have is very good because nothing really is that color in the game. Uh, magenta in general is pretty good if you want something to be contrasting, like everything else in the game. Uh, because not much in games is actually magenta colored. Not much. Um, you're usually pretty okay with uh, with magenta or pink colors. Purple's not good. Purple's bad. Purple will get drowned out in a lot of things. You need it to be bright, but pink. Red's not good either. Green, blue, you know, they're not all that great. Um, but, regardless... That's how you do it. That's how you do it. It's like the most nifty thing that there is in the game, in my opinion. It's the best mod there is. It's the default KF2 crosshair is just garbage. You know, maybe that's what they got in KF3. Is like a usable crosshair. I'm not. Uh, I'm not a big proponent, or not. I'm not a big. Is it proponent? Proponent? I don't know. I don't know what the word is. I'm not a big uh, advocate for crosshairs in general. Um, largely I think they detract from the game experience. If they're not a stationary, just like, center of the screen thing, I'd rather just not have a crosshair. But if they are a stationary center of the screen thing, then I, I definitely do prefer it. I just like having a, a clear, de you know, defined zone where that's the center of the screen, you know? That's very nice to have. But once, once you have the thing and it's like showing you the spread and it's got all this kind of other stuff and I'm like, I just don't need that. That's, that's needless information. It's not helping me. And that's what the KF2 crosshair does. It's garbage. Anyway, I get a lot of people asking me about the crosshair so I figured I'd mention it quickly here. I'm going to make a tutorial on how to install it soon. I don't know when, but... Uh, it's a question that I answer often enough that I'd rather just have a video I can refer them to to go over how the settings work and, and get it all kind of working for them and stuff. Because I think if I just link it in the the the, the actual video in the 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 mod in the description, most people are gonna be able to download it and like figure it out. It's not like super complicated, but some of the settings I think are a little bit tricky. Um, so I'd like to have a quick video going over just kind of how you get your crosshair exactly how you want and what the different settings actually mean and stuff so that people can, you know, get their crosshair work in the way that they like it too. And then it's also kind of good for the channel and stuff, which, I mean, I don't really care about the channel, but... It's good for the channel anyway, so, you know, it's a, it's a twofer. It's a twofer! Twofer, twofers are good. It's BOGO. It's BOGO. I, uh, it's back on the weight loss thing. I've been trying to lose weight lately. I actually, uh, haven't been. Because I've been ordering too much food. I've been ordering out too much. Um, so I actually, I went ahead and I uninstalled the, uh, delivery app on my phone. So it's no longer there, so I, I can't, I mean, I couldn't, I, I, I could just go in and, like, reinstall it. If I really wanted food, but, um... That's that's like one step beyond what I would be willing to do if I were, you know, gonna lapse on my diet or something. That's that's one step past, you know, easy. You know, make make it just a little bit harder than is is worth it. And that's what I've done. So I'm hoping I'm hoping the weight loss comes off. I've got uh, my my goal is currently for for the weights anyway is for my next dentist appointment in February, late February. My goal is to have my oral hygiene significantly improved since the last one, which is going to be fine because I'm brushing and flossing every day anyway now. I'm not depressed anymore. That's that's good. And then I also want to lose enough weight that somebody comments on it. That somebody's like, wow, you lost weight. That's what I want by then. It's my goal, so. 
I'm just not gonna eat until then, and then yeah, I'll just do a three month fast. I would love to fast. Would love to fast. If if there weren't like so many problems with it, I would love to fast as like a weight loss thing. Cause I don't consider it hard to fast. Like I've gone days without food before. He wasn't running. I've gone days without food before. I don't find it that like you know hard to not eat. Like just just don't eat. You know. Um, it's just there's like a billion problems that come with uh, with fasting as a, as a weight loss strategy. <laughs> like it's like not very good to do, and you end up with uh, with a lot of extra excess skin just because you lost the weight so quickly and you have like stretch marks. And all kinds of nonsense you don't really want. It's like not a good way to lose weight at all. I just wish it were. Because I would totally do that. Who's short of cash? I'd do like, uh, you know, one month on, one month off fast kind of thing. <laughs> if, if it were, you know, healthy. It's not, so I wouldn't do it. But that'd be like my goal. You know, that'd be my dream. Humans aren't made for that, though. We're not, we're not built for that kind of, uh, diet. It would be like suicide. Anyway, I've, I've, I've uh, removed the app from my phone, so I can't order food anymore. Which worked, so far. I haven't ordered food since I installed it. <laughs> Which is good. I do want to lose weight, though. My, like, ultimate goal is I want by next summer to be confident enough to, like, go to the beach or something, you know? You know, if, if beaches are a thing next year, who knows? Remember beaches? Remember when, uh... Remember when we would, like, go and do things with people? What a, what a, what a life that was, right? What a life that was. That's my uh, that's my ultimate goal, my long-term goal. But my short-term goal is uh, by my next dentist appointment to have some kind of noteworthy progress, which I think is pretty doable. Especially with, uh, with Beat Saber. I haven't played Beat Saber in a while. I don't like playing it when people are home because uh, A, they like talk around you and then it gets in the way of my music, which I want to listen to. And then B, um, I also like I'm just in the way because it's like a big space that I have to reserve for for playing Beat Saber. Um, and then C, I don't like wearing like real clothes when I do it because I don't like I'm sweating and stuff. So you got bits flying out all over the place that people don't necessarily want to see. So it's, it's a it's a when I'm home alone kind of thing, which gives me kind of a natural like Saturdays and Sundays to, to relax. But today, I woke up and my mother was home and I was like, wow, my day's been ruined. It's like such a terrible feeling when when I wake up and I'm like excited to to finally, you know, it's Monday and I'm finally by myself and I don't have to put up with all the other people in the house and then like somebody else is home and I'm just, ugh, really? You're really just going to exist in this household? Oh, it's such a terrible feeling. It's like, just crushing. Cause you get so hyped up about it, and then you j I'm just like... Nope! <laughs> anyway, so I haven't played Beat Saber in a few days now. Hopefully I'm home alone tomorrow so I can play some Beat Saber. If I'm not, I'll probably just play it anyway and put on like a reasonable amount of clothes and just put up with people talking around me and say, you know what, screw it. Y'all can just kind of not go to the area where I am tomorrow. Because I want to I play Beat Saber again. It's been a while. I want to play it. It's a fun game. That's how we do it in Darwin. But anyway, with, uh, with Beat Saber, you know, being... Uh, legend and, and burning like 800 calories a day which ends up being like 550 or something like that calories a day over the course of the week when I'm not doing it on Saturdays and Sundays that gives me like a pound a week right there if I'm otherwise 
um, matching the amount of calories that I want to eat. And then I could also, like, you know, eat a little bit less or whatever and end up losing, like, maybe a couple of pounds a week kind of thing. Like, one and a half to two pounds a week-ish, which I think is still healthy. And it wouldn't even be that much work, so... Probably the plan. Anyway, if we got uh, like two pounds a week, eight pounds a month, three months from now, I'd end up losing like 20 or 30 pounds or something like that. That's not bad. It's not bad. 24 pounds or something. It's not bad. It's kind of depressing to think about how long it's going to take to actually like be done, <laughs> you know? By uh, By next summer. Um, probably like, I'd want to say, how many months is that? How many months away is, uh, is next, like, J July is the 7th month? I'm in the 11th, so like 12th month. Yeah, but it's like 7th, god damn. Um... Like 50, 60 pounds, that's pretty good by like next summer. That's pretty acceptable. This cat's back in the game. That's acceptable. I can handle that kind of a thing. I'm not gonna be at my, my goal weight by then, but hopefully I'm at least comfortable enough to like be more outgoing. Maybe get into dating and stuff again. I don't know. Be nice, it would be nice. To be a little bit more confident by next year. A little bit more self confidence. Uh, we'll just clear out some of the rabble and then take you out. Nice. Beautiful. I think I handled that perfectly. Outside of the, you know, getting hit part, but. I mean, there's nothing I could do, dude. Nicely done. There's nothing I could do. You know how to stay alive out there. A good instinct. As long as it ain't cold, I'm golden. Oh wait, I want my uh, my Glock. Ammo. Give me my Glock. That's a hit. Keeps the area secure. On the topic of porn. <laughs> we're getting into it, we're getting into it. Not 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 totally, but I uh I have an Oculus Quest too. You, you gotta try, right? You gotta you gotta try it. Right? Like, like you, you gotta at least experience it. It's, it's free, you know. It's, it's a free experience. You gotta, you gotta at least. Everybody who has a VR headset has, 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 has tried it at least once. You know, everybody, everybody's tried it at least once. Um, give me a moment. Everybody's tried it at least once, right? But uh, what do you mean it's too heavy? What am I even trying to? Okay, I see, I see. And uh, I gotta say, it was um. I'm talking about, you know, VR porn. Um, for one, finding it from the, you know, female perspective was hard enough, um, which makes sense. It's it's mostly made for men, and then like the the VR market is mostly made for men as well. Like most things are made for men. It's like you know, kind of a problem in the world really. Um, but. Uh, so I, I found some some stuff, and uh, I had no intentions of just to, to be clear. I had no intentions of actually uh, engaging in the content in any way. You know, you know, if you kind of catch my drift, I just I wanted to experience it and see what it was like, so I could say, uh, you know, I've done it. You know, I've I've experienced it, and uh, I wanna I wanna try at least do this thing. You know, um, so I tried it. And uh, it was it was weird because it as as a trans woman you know the, uh, the the VR lady in the in the video had um, superior hardware we'll say uh, so it felt like weirdly like good and in like a dysphoria way. Um, but then it felt 
incredibly bad in 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 a dysphoria way um once the headset came off which i was like gonna expect as soon as i got in like i i, I watched like you know 10 seconds of it and i'm like oh yeah no this is like highly highly bad for my mental state because it's gonna like really mess me up because of the whole uh trans you know gender dysphoria kind of stuff and that's exactly what it was it was um I can see the appeal. Well, I'll, I'll put it that way. I can see the appeal. It was definitely a more immersive experience. But because of that, it was a super bad experience for uh, for me. So if, if uh, trans women out there, like a 0 out of 10, do not recommend. Straight men, probably like a 9 out of 10, do recommend. I'm just, I'm not a straight man, so... Wasn't particularly uh, enjoyable for me. But uh, I tried it. I gave it. I gave it its fair shot. I don't really watch much porn anyway, like at all. Um, typically, only when I uh, forget to take my hormones for like a couple of days. It's it's like highly noticeable when I do because the the libido like skyrockets. Um, but I want to try it. You know, I had I had another friend who. Um, has VR and he was bugging me to try it so I'm like okay okay like I'll, I'll try it I'll experience it I experienced it we got like exactly 10,000 dosh I don't know if we usually do but that's pretty cool I experienced it it was um you know it was it was what you'd expect which is bad for me anyway that's good for today thank you for watching remember to like the video if you like subscribe to see more in the future comment if you have anything to say I'll see you next time uh, bye bye